Reddit, what secret are you taking to the grave? NSFW. I lost my virginity to a prostitute. What I masturbate to? It's not cheese pizzas. In third grade, I cheated on my history exam. In fourth grade, I stole my Uncle Max's toupee and I glued it on my face when I was Moses in my Hebrew school play. In fifth grade, I knocked my sister Edie down the stairs and I blamed it on the dog. When my mom sent me to the summer camp for fat kids and then they served lunch I got nuts and I picked out and they kicked me out. But the worst thing I ever done I mixed a pot of fake puke at home and then I went to this movie theater, hid the puke in my jacket, climbed up to the balcony and then, tt then, I made a noise like this, hua 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 and then I dumped it over the side, all over the people in the audience, and then, this was horrible, all the people started getting sick and throwing up all over each other, I never felt so bad in my entire life. I worked for a shipping company at a customer desk. A guy I had known came in to ship a package. He was a known drug dealer in my town. He didn't recognize me. The package was wrapped in duct tape. I took the package. Brought it out back and made it disappear into my backpack. After my shift I opened the package and found $37,890 in cash. I never went back to the job and never heard anything about it. I left Texas a month later with cash in hand. My mother killed my father when I was 8 years old. With a shotgun blast to the face. He bled out through what was left of his head into my lap. Blood has a smell. A stink. When there's enough of it around. She got off. Because it was a self defense situation. She sent me to school the next day. And ever since I've pretended that I'm a well adjusted. Stable person. I'm not. My parents took me to get my hearing checked when I was 12 because I wasn't responding when they called my name. I pretended not to hear some of the beeps in the hearing aid test room. As a result, I wore a hearing aid for 2 years when I was 12-14 years old. I don't know why I did that. In 7th grade Joe thought Brandon put the lime salt on his brownie but it was actually me. This is ducked up and definitely a secret I am taking to my grave. Back when I was 13 I had discovered masturbation. And the closest thing I could fap into was my mom's panties. I used to steal her panties. Lick them. Sniff them. Wear them around the house under my pants. I would come on command while talking to her while trying to keep a straight face. It was weird. And exciting. Well into my teenager years. Whenever my friends would invite me over, I used to sneak into their parents room and the sisters room or their own room and steal their panties. I would wear their panties and do the same. Talk to them while coming with a straight face. They had no idea, I hope. It was also exciting to me. And it's ducked up as well. Thongs, g-strings, boy shorts and normal granny panties. I've accumulated all over the years and had close to 200 pairs. A few years ago I got serious with a girl, I fapped in her mom's panties as well, and moved in with her. I had to dispose my precious panty collection. So I did with sadness. Now I work in a job where I take care of people's luggages. Sometimes I go into female luggage and steal their panties. Fap in them and return them in their luggage. Call me sick. I know it's ducked up. But it's a secret I'm taking to my grave outsiders won't understand one night I woke up with my mind in a twist my mom was in the hospital at the time I had a crazy urge to call them and check on her but I reasoned not to because I couldn't think of an excuse so I fell back to sleep 5 a.m. I get a call that they checked on her and she didn't have a pulse I just think there was something I could have done that destroys me to even think about it me and my girlfriend were playing Monopoly and she was so concentrated on the game, on the dice, on her properties. She was just so engrossed in the board that I was constantly taking money out of the bank and keeping it. I feel terrible about it because she was just so adorable trying to play the game and concentrate on trying to win. I absolutely annihilated her because I had so much money. She wasn't a sore loser about it. When we were done playing and it was obvious I had one she just kind of sighed and we watched a movie. 
the whole time I couldn't stop thinking about how absolutely adorable she looked while trying to concentrate and play. The way she looked at the money she had. And the properties she bought. Like she was so proud of them. And I took advantage of that and stole money to win. I learned that from now on winning doesn't matter. I need to focus on having fun with her. But I will take this to the grave because if she ever finds out she'll be talking it like nobody's business. Me and my wife were going through tough times. I just got back from back Afghanistan. I played Russian roulette with my 357 Magnum. 3 loaded. I lost. Getting a divorce now and alive. A friend had an abortion before her marriage. Her husband doesn't know. It was his kid. She swore me to secrecy. I will never tell. The first person I ever fapped to was Wanda from the Fairly Odd Parents. My dad's a national socialist and he regularly goes to meetings. I was raised on Germanic folklore and the idea that I'm superior to others because I'm of German descent. I have plenty of Jewish and Slavish friends and I just tell them my dad died when I was younger. TL. DR my dad's an artsy. Edit. Wow. Gold because my dad's an artsy. I was giving my cat a belly rub and it just all over my hand. Comma. Bacon is always the first food to be cooked by my father in the mornings. As a child, I would steal myself an extra piece and blame it on my little brother. Hence, I'd get a total of three pieces and Browski would only get one. Looking back, the oldest kid gets away with so much it. My sister and I were on holiday together recently and very drunk one night when we got back from the bar. Naturally we started drinking more because we were on holiday. She has the ice cube tray in her hand, opens the window simultaneously and loses her focus and drops the tray 5 floors to the street, hitting a big guy square in the dome. He looks up and started screaming and shouting in Italian. I live in Rome so I understood he was calling us some bad, bad names. We just closed the window and continued drinking while we could hear this man shouting he was going to come up there and rip our heads off. Please never find me MR scary Italian man. That when my ex called me to look at something weird in the toilet it was actually a really early miscarriage and not just really weird period stuff because it would have mentally broken a girl that was already unstable. But I'm dying inside. When my cousin died a few years ago my family went over to his house to look around for a sense of closure. I ducked away for a bit and noticed his computer was still on. On his desktop was his porn folder. I deleted it before my aunt and uncle saw it. Edit. A word. I was in kindergarten. Probably 5 years old. And during sleeping time I asked a girl to show me her D. I went to counseling for abuse after my parents divorced. And I was never abused so they put me in the regular room with all the people there who were waiting for their siblings. I claimed my father abused me so I could go to the special room with all the abused kids. It was horrible. I had no right being in that room with all those people. They all were really messed up from what their parents had done to them. And I just got in so I could play Yu-Gi-Oh. Edit. I was probably 7 or 8. And for what I know my father did not get in trouble. I see him every week. I didn't know what I was doing back then. Might as well get this off of my chest. Without going into great detail. Purposely vague. More than 5 years ago I was a part of a group of 3-5 people that would successfully take the MC80 in place of others for a fee. We were all adept at taking the exam. Our clients were old money types with kids who could not make the cut, or didn't want to try. The fee was $100k plus any other extra charges. Fake fingerprints. IDs. Prosthetics. You name it and we did it. I had no qualms doing this as my reasoning was if they can't pass the exam. How in the duck would they get through med school plus steps? Take their money and let them fail out of med. No problems until one of the clients actually managed to get through school and had racked up some malpractice. Thankfully nothing too serious. It hit me hard to the point of attempted suicide. I quit and went to therapy and the group disbanded, for other reasons. Shortly thereafter, I'm much doing much better now. But this info is staying with me from people that I know, and staying with you. Random reader. When we were kids, 
A female cousin and I played doctor around the age of 6 or 7. Talked about it a few years ago around the age of 25. Became deeply intimate and have had really incredible sex several times over the last few years. She recently got married and we have since ended our relationship. We are both normal. Successful. Contributing citizens. You'd never know. Hopefully no one finds out. But I miss her and our level of intimacy. I threw rocks at the school with one of my best mates and some other student tattled on us. Basically we both got the paddle. Basically they smack your bum. And they sent a letter home to my dad. My dad received the letter and I lied to him and said I never threw the rocks. My dad bless his heart believed me and took it to our school principal and convinced him that I wouldn't lie about such things. Since the principal wanted to rectify it for my dad's sake. He offered me a free voucher for an ice cream as an apology. It's 15 years down the track now. And I still feel really bad for it. I feel like if I told my dad now it would break his heart. I once put a bottle in my butt to poop into it. In 5th grade I cheated on an exam. My buddy and I were the only two people in the grade who got this particular question correct. But I copied him. The worst part was he was considered dumb while I was at the top of the class. So the teacher was convinced that he copied me and he ended up getting suspended. Long story short. I was too pussy to admit that I was the one who cheated as my parents would have murdered me if I failed the test and even worse if I got suspended. Yesterday I responded to a car accident. I literally watched a girl I was in high school with die. She was screaming and begging to live. And then she wasn't. It wasn't surreal. Or like Hollywood, if one more person asks me if it was like the movies I'm gonna punch them the duck out. I've seen my fair share of bad accidents. And have never really been bothered by death. My first call was a really bad accident. Only thing I was worried about was getting dinner. Duck I slept like a baby last night and didn't think twice about it. I am more pissed that a young girl died with her whole life ahead of her all because she wasn't ducking paying attention to where she was going. People, pay the duck attention when you're driving. When you get yourself killed it may end for you. But not for everyone else. That text message is not worth it. It's. Not. Worth. It. What no one knows is that I came dangerously close to crying my ducking eyes out over it. This girl was literally one of the nicest girls I've known in my life. I was bullied in 9th grade. And she was one of the few cool kids that actually treated me kindly. I didn't know her well but I'm sure as helpest that she had to die yesterday. When I was 16 I was in a relationship with a man older than my father. I'm getting married soon. And he still mopes around and says how much he loves me and will never find someone like me. It's annoying. But also makes me feel guilty as hell. When I was in senior year of high school, I had a 20 year old teacher. She had graduated high school at 15. Absolute genius. I saw her my junior year of college, teaching there. She had no idea I went to that college. Went for drinks with a few buds, turns out she frequented the same bar. When I saw her I told my buds I was gonna make a move that night. Glad I did. Happily married for 7 years.